Hey everybody, welcome back to another video today. I'm being, uh, today, I'm going to be predicting the five-match PLE. This won't be a long video since it's just five matches. Uh, the five-match PLE for Backlash in France, Lyon, France. SmackDown was already really cool, I think. Um, I've only watched, like, certain clips of it, like, with AJ Slap and Cody. And this the whole crowd in general, they even got freaking decibel warnings. Like, they could have hearing loss after the whole show. They were that loud. So, I'm excited to see what the whole show looked like. Looked like. But, if it's, if it was that, if the crowd was that good, I want to see what they can do tomorrow. But, yeah, take it for place in France. This is the first time I think they've had a PLE in France ever. I think. I think. I have no idea. But, yeah. So, let's start off. I think the, I, this is also what I think the match order will be. So, uh, it's gonna start off with Tiffany Stratton versus Naomi versus Bailey for the WWE Women's Championship. I think Bailey's gonna retain. I think Naomi's gonna be taking the pin here because Tiffany, she's just a, way too valuable to take a pin right now. But Bailey, like, I don't want her to lose in her only what her second defense. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> or the third. I don't know, but I don't want Bailey to lose like that. And plus, yeah, I think Naomi will take the pin. I'll take I'll take Bailey for the first one, and I think the next match will be the f for the women's tag team championship between Jay Cargill and B Bianca Belair versus Damage Control. I since Damage Control is being moved to Raw, um, this is where I think they're gonna lose the titles. I have no idea because the Raw women's roster I don't, is not that good. I don't think I don't even know at this point. But like, I think Jane and Bianca like they they seem unstoppable. Like, in individually, they seem very unstoppable. And just mixing them up together. Oh, boy. The only way they're going to lose it is by shenanigans. The only way they're going to lose those titles is if they betray each other, which I think is going to happen. But I, I haven't taken Jane and Bianca here for the titles. So the third match, I think, is going to be the uh, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton versus uh, the blood the, the Bloodline, Tama Tonga and Solo Sokoa. I think, Sol I think Solo Sokoa and Tama Tonga get the win here with Jacob Fatu. Making his debut. I have Zilla coming to WWE just a little bit more down the line. But I have Jacob Fatu making his debut. And siding with the bloodline, costing Kevin and Randy the match, which th this will obviously progress their feud. But yeah, that's what I that's what I see happening in my opinion. And yeah, that's gonna happen. So so far it's been I've I've picked Bailey, Jaden Bianca, and the Bloodline. So yeah. Next up I think uh is the wood hopefully not be the World Heavyweight Championship between Jey J Uso versus Damian Priest. I have Damian Priest winning. I mean, I, I get everyone's argument that... I get everyone's argument that Jay could win because Jay deserves it. But, like, my thing is that I'm seeing towards Clash of the Castle where he, where Damian finally loses it to Drew McIntyre because I feel like uh, Drew's whole arc with his heel run... Finally, like he finally revitalizes himself in front of his own crowd and getting revenge and getting all his, his actual actual moment without without having to worry about anything. But then CM Punk is out. I just feel like he he will lose that Drew to Drew, at Clash of the Castle. That's what I think. But I think Damien's gonna retain here. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good match actually. And what it's most likely gonna be the main event, which I hope the World Heavyweight Title is the main event because it's more unpredictable. But still. What what is the main event is most likely going to be the main event. AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes versus, for the undisputed D uh, WWE Championship. I think Cody Rhodes will retain because that's just obvious at this point. This has been a very predictable card, but I'm I'm just hoping all the matches cook. Um, there should be six matches, but I feel like they're gonna have one segment where something's gonna happen. I don't know, or one match is gonna go really long and really awesome. So I don't know, but they should always have six matches. No matter even like I I know about the quality over quantity stuff. Like AEW has fourteen matches every pay per view. Every PLE, it's always like six or more matches. I'd rather have six more than five. I just don't know. That'll do it for this one, though. Thank you for watching this one. Just for a video, like I said, and have a good day. Goodbye.